I'm Graham Dent, I work for Electricity Northwest. We are the electricity distributor for the region. So we're working on a project called Rising and Lateral Mains at the moment. What that's about is uh, getting into high-rise blocks or any multi-occupancy building, inspecting the uh, electrical supply, and if it needs any work doing to it, getting that work done to make sure that it's fit uh, for future use. Rising and lateral mains are the name that we give to the cables that literally rise through a high-rise block of flats and then the service cables split off laterally towards the flats. So basically it's the cables that you wouldn't know exist that are embedded within the walls of a building. Traditionally on a street they're the cables that are in the ground. It's just that the building goes upwards. We sometimes call it a street in the sky. Blocks like this were built in uh, the mid-1960s. They were state-of-the-art at the time and the cabling that was put in was, uh, was certainly built to last. However, we reckon it has a, a asset life of around 60 years, so it's time to have a look at it and uh, bring it up to date because the way we use electricity now is very different to what we used to use back then. So first of all, we'll come, we'll look at a building and we'll assess the condition of the cables and we'll see what work needs doing. That could be a full replacement, installing a new electrical system throughout the block, or it could be a refurbishment, that being just effectively a cleaning up of what's already there, making sure everything's sealed, covered, labelled, boxed away properly, and neat and tidy. For replacement, we take about 12 weeks on site. A refurbishment is a lot less than that, depending on the size of the block. A refurbishment doesn't involve working in people's flats and is a lot less disruptive. What that replacement means is we have to get rid of the old system and put a new one in. Most of the work takes place in communal areas, so we put new cabling in, that goes on cable trays and is distributed through the building. All the cabling as well will be boxed in when it's finished. So if you see the work being done and you think that looks ugly, yes it does, but uh, we will get it sorted for you. If we have to work inside people's flats, we will always work around residents. So our, our ambition is that nobody has to take a day's holiday if they're working to facilitate us coming in. In terms of working in flats, it's about three hours for our first visit to install the cable in, and about half an hour at the end of the project to switch the system over. When we carry out work on buildings like this, we install the new electrical system to run in parallel with the old system. That means we don't have to interrupt supply while the work's going on. It's only at the very end of the project when all the cabling is completed that we interrupt power for what we call the switch over, the turning off of one system and the bringing online of the new one. The interruption you'll face, probably no more than about two hours. Well the work that we carry out does have an impact on the lives of customers. That's why we have to be really respectful of that and get to know the community that we're working in and become part of that community. That means we get to know the Residents Association, we attend meetings. We also try and organise special events such as the, the welfare team come down and talk about our priority services register that we have. Or we've even had uh, the LEAP partnership down here talking about fuel economy and how residents can save money on the fuel bills. Well I would say to tenants, you know, we are here to help you. We're here to make sure you're safe in your home with your electricity. If, if any tenant has got any questions, they can stop any of our guys that are working, ask the questions, you've always got people knocking about. Also, you can phone us, um, you can even phone the welfare team and ask to speak to me, Barbara, and anything that you're worried about. If I don't know, I'll find out for you and make sure that I get back to you. Well, at first, I was a bit sick because I thought that it was going to be what well, load of dust again and but they've been uh, they've been really really good and they've explained to us what they're going to do so i've got no problems with that electric northwest have been absolutely brilliant um they're always on the end of the phone um they answer any questions you've got and honestly um and as i say that i i think they, they've been very very good i think the main thing when you're working with electric is confidence so obviously electricity northwest have engaged with us we've engaged with them uh, we've worked together really, really well. Um, they're really proactive in helping us and helping us to understand why the works need doing. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Let them get in and get the job done and that's it. Yeah.